Hey, it's my ugly face again, but I got my hair cut, see? <laughs> uh, here's something that most people don't really pay much attention to. Um, I've got this big stack of firewood, right? All along my garage. And uh, I have neglected it. I've let it sit out in the, in the weather for a couple of years. Um, I mean, directly on the ground, too, which is a no-no. Um, so what I'm having to do now is go through and find all of the good firewood and all of the rotten firewood. Now, just because it's rotten doesn't mean it's not usable. I can still burn it outside. But the good firewood, which, as long as it's solid, it's okay if it's wet, you know, from the weather, but you got to let it dry out before you burn it. And I know most of you all know this stuff, this... This is 101 stuff, okay? You do not want to ever burn wet wood if you can avoid it because you will get creosote buildup, which will cause chimney fires. And especially in SHTF, when you don't have a fire department to react, that you'd have a very bad time. So I'm going through this. Now, every bit of this is still usable. Even the, even the, the piles of... Uh, bark there. Now, the best wood to burn inside is barkless, completely dry hardwood. Um, it burns hotter, it burns longer, and there's less ash. Now, even the ash is usable. usable you all know that. We'll get into that at another time. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've got some pallets now, and I'm going to tear this whole pile down, find the good stuff, and throw the good the good stuff to one side and the bad stuff to the other. And I'm going to put the pallets down and uh, stack the good stuff up on the pallets. And I'd like to build a shelter over it, but, for, you know, I'll at least throw a tarp over it for now to keep it out of the weather so that I don't have to do this again. Um, this is one of those things like, yeah, I need to do that. I'll get to it, but it's not that high on my priority list. Well, it's nice warm weather now, and I don't have to worry about freezing while I do it. So I can go ahead and get this done, and then I don't have to worry about it when winter comes. So I'm about, I don't know, a quarter of the way done. But, uh, yeah, it's just because of my neglect. And if you happen to neglect your firewood, then you're going to have to do this too. Uh, if it's spongy or it pulls apart easy... Um, you don't want to burn that. Even if it dries out, you don't want to burn that. Not inside. You burn it outside all you want. Um, if it's wet on the inside, that's okay. As long as it's not spongy. Or, you know, the consistency of mud or dirt. Um, just uh, peel the bark off. If you can get it off. Hopefully you can. Mine's, this is good seasoned firewood here. The bark just comes right off usually in just a couple of pieces. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Um, so, uh, yeah, just do that and uh, then stack it to where it'll dry. And then when it starts getting cold, you'll have some good dry firewood that's going to burn hot and long. So, and that's what she said. <laughs> anyway, I cracked myself up. I'm going to let you go. Till next time, I'm at Victoria Curum. Stay safe out there.